Hey guys, KTAD here. Now, I've been told I need to step in to create like a buffer zone between some of the other hosts so that uh, the Valorant v Overwatch conflict may finally come to an end. But uh, between, uh, between you and me guys, I don't think they both realize that League's kind of already won that war. So, uh, so don't tell them. Don't tell them anything. But anyways... You guys already know why we're here, and if not, well, then you're in luck because we've got some of the best collegiate esports moments right here. Don't believe me? Well, that's okay, but, uh, you know, here's your proof. Let's get into it. To start us off, we have the combo of Matt and Festive as they execute a brilliant mid-air handoff to close out game two and tie up the series. Here in regulation, can Festive and Matt do it? Matt's there! Let's sit in and we do get the go ahead goal. Is it going to be enough to end it here in reg? 25 seconds left right here. About two minutes since our last goal. Fifth total in this one. Is this looking like in moderately? Feeling thirsty? Well, if you are, then Krolo's got what you need with these sick plays on Pac Man. Not. Always guaranteed the stock goes for the side special into that. That would have been an insane way to end it. And now Prolo looking for oh! the fire like an edge guard. Slam dunk right there. Is there able to finish them off? At number six, see if you can count the ultimates here because when the dust settles, there can be only one survivor. College, but I don't know what Kid University are thinking. Well, okay, they're thinking it. What is going on in this fight? My, my days! Two to the bomb, three to the tire, one to the self destruct, and it's we just get the team. Lone it's, a, it's a lone diva. What baby is diva happening? <laughs> no, okay. Hip is back there. You know what number play this is, right? Because J Rod knows. And let me tell you. He's definitely keeping count. But it's gonna be J Rod who strikes first again with a nice headshot onto Boss. Gonna start oh moving God. down into Garage, and J Rod has just approached now through Garage. RP Small has been committed. Oh Lance oh! tries to take a peek, but J Rod's there, finds Pigeon Mac. We're looking at potentially an ace. Austin gonna do their. Try to scrape together some sort of consolation prize. He's blinded, and they're. Oh my god, draw. What a teammate. He's giving a. Oh no, J Rod around the corner looking for the ace. One shot at Austin, he finds the oh! ace. Good guy, Beautiful. draw. Gives it over. Love the team. A man down, the overtime clock counting, and the ball on their half of the pitch. Yet somehow, Stonehill manages to make it work in this crazy match against Buena Vista. Out and push right back out again. This is a game of inches. Who can aggress first? And that's gonna be it. Joker from the long shot along the field. Look at this from the back of board. Straight to Joker's seat. The touch is so delicate. In what was surely a game-changing play here, Nichols State's Law pulls out a tire that can only be described as illegal to put the nail in the coffin against Missouri Western. Ready. On the bread side, yeah, Nichols has enough time to come through. No! It's three! No! Three. It's not one, it's not two, it's not three. It is three eliminations with Law's rim tire there. Absolutely incredible. Able to pick up a fourth, pick up a shy for the team kill right now. At number two, it's just a masterful display of edge guarding from Adelphi's Davian. Check it out. That roller is going to be a great opportunity to get in and pass, possibly even just through those arms. Goes for the down throw into forward, or forward air, excuse me. A great combo. Going to find some great damage offside. And as that paint just racks up onto this midman, that is more and more damage basically for free. Davion, it's edge for guard. A bottom stage. My goodness, what a stall. Beautiful edge guard. And England. And in our top play of this week, have you seen the movie Ratatouille? It has nothing to do with this play, but I think you'll see why we bring it up. Look at this rat, though. Look at this rat going up long, dude. Oh, oh he's got another. Okay, I mean, it's Ratatouille. They're yes. chefing it up. I'm gonna go find another. <laughs> Fozzy, quick trade, though. And they'll stall the push for now, but contain just a little bit here. We got a lot more work to be done. It's out of CT already. Right click is missed! Oh. Yeah, right click is huge going in this round. It's not gonna find anything but tumble and blue. Fozzie with a quick trade. Oh, okay. stop. Okay, stop let the it. rat do it all. Oh, my. 
Phew! What a week and what a crazy set of matches we've been seeing so far. Now, with that said, we're just now passing the halfway point in the season, so that playoffs picture is definitely starting to shape up. Now, if you guys want to stay up to date with all of the ECAC action, then definitely give us a follow on Twitter at ECAC underscore esports. Or, if you guys want to catch all of the matches live, you can find us on Twitch at ECAC underscore esports. Mondays and Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern, Wednesdays at 7. Now, as always, a special shout out to our partners over at Esports U for expanding on our broadcast coverage. We definitely want to give them a special thank you for that. But, you know, that's it. That's the show. That's all we've got this week. Come back next week. Hopefully we've got a new host. Hopefully they've stopped bickering and all of that. But in any case, I've been KTAD. It's been a blast and I'll see you guys next time.